welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel it's Prisca Jean and today if you can't tell by the title we're gonna be doing something a little different so we're gonna be doing a stress relief routine and this is in response to what's been going on in the world right now if you don't know which you probably should um, there's been a lot of protests in response to the killing of George Floyd rest in peace to him it's just been a lot of stuff going down and you know this is not even just like in response to the whole protest and the immense amount of police brutality happening right now but just you know it's like piling you know with all the things that's been happening in 2020 like with covid and you know having to quarantine and then the protests it's just like a lot of things have been piling up and i feel like it's all happening so fast that people aren't really getting a time to just breathe like you know it's all happening in like such short time spans that people are just like okay like now this happening now this happening now this happening so it's kind of just like what do you do like and i found it was taking a toll on me too i didn't realize it at first but it was it's been like putting a damp on my spirit like it's hard you know when you open social media every day to see black people being hurt or harmed just for protesting peacefully yes there have been a couple handful of people that have been you know vandalizing and burning cop cars or whatever whatever i mean anger is anger that's where i stand on that you know people are angry and they have a right to be they have a right to be angry so i'm not about to sit here and you know criticize people for doing what they're doing because people are angry because people have been literally taking our lives since our ancestors came here so i just i feel like there's just a lot of pent-up anger and people are not releasing it properly because you know, like i said everything keeps happening so fast what's one thing after the other and we're not taking the time to just come back down to earth so recently i've kind of figured out a way to keep myself back down to earth because i know when i see stuff like this it makes me very tense i can't function when i'm tense like that i like you know i don't do things efficiently i'm like not focused so i've wrote down a couple of my top things that help me relieve stress and tension so i thought i'd share it with you guys the first tip that i have and i feel like this has a bigger impact than you would think like so what i do is i self-reflect and i write down my thoughts because you know you see all the stuff that's going on and it's like you're thinking you have all these thoughts and what to say but you don't actually sit down and write them like when you write down your thoughts it is literally therapeutic so what i do is i usually just go into my notes or like even if you have like a notebook or something that's even better because you're physically writing but even if you just go into your notes pull up your notes and just write down your thoughts like penny for your thoughts i'll give y'all a penny a nice little penny for your thoughts because i want y'all to write stuff down write down how you feel like just let it all out because i can tell you after it will feel like you kind of just you know let it go so this chair is like hella squeaky the next tip that i have for de-stressifying is that a word de-stressifying your your body releasing all the tension and this is a very effective way of bringing yourself back down to earth and that is meditation it doesn't even need to be like when you're going through something that should just be a part of your everyday routine just to keep that your mind in that headspace where it's kind of just like you're relaxed you're good you can think clearly headspace oh not headspace meditation is key but speaking of headspace that is what i use and if you've probably heard of it or seen like the little commercials um, every single problem that you might be going through headspace has that so i think you guys should really try and if even if you don't have headspace youtube videos are free and there are apps that are free that help you meditate as well getting that anger and restlessness and tension out of your body and along with meditating, if you are religious, I encourage y'all to pray. For me, I believe in, you know, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, I am a child of God. I am a child of God, and, you know, I do pray. I pray a lot, actually, especially recently, because it's hard to see stuff like this, and, you know, just, you kind of want some guidance, so that's what I do as well. With meditating, I pray, pray a lot, because it helps me feel better. Okay, so the next tip is aromatherapy and aromatherapy 
another thing that I really used to not pay any mind to because I was like, that doesn't work, okay. But that, I found out that aromatherapy does work for me a lot. Let me show y'all. I have a candle from Bath & Body Works that I literally always buy. It's from their Stress Relief, um, Stress Relief line. Ciao. Let me tell y'all. I love that candle. That candle, anytime I'm feeling stressed, literally the scent of it, because now that my brain's just associated it with, like, you know, it's time to de-escalate. Every time I light that thing, I'm like, your girl is back down to earth. Like, So this is the candle. It says, Stress Relief Aromatherapy from Bath & Body Works. Yep. And it's in the scent, Eucalyptus and Spearmint. I love this candle. It is my favorite candle. Oh my God. Ugh. <laughs> Literally, like, it is so... And if Bath & Body Works really closes down, bro... I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad. Like, why? Like, I don't care about pink or VS. Bath and Body Works, you're not going. You don't get to leave. I'm sorry. I'll be so upset, y'all. I'll be so upset. Get you one of these. Like, if you're not a fan of candles, I got you. I got you. Humidifiers. Humidifiers, man. They do wonders. They work wonders. You don't even need like some real fancy expensive one. Literally just get one for $10 off of Amazon and you're good. Get you some essential oils, child. And we're good. We're good. All you got to do is put a couple drops down there. Plug it up. Turn it on. Put some water up to the line. Because if it goes over the line, it won't be an aroma diffuser thing. It will just be bubbling water. But, um... Put, put up to the line, press start, and you are good. Like, literally, and you just sit down, read a book, watch your favorite show. Literally, just unwind. And I can assure you, like, you will feel in a much better place than you were when you started. The next tip is spending time with loved ones and just talking to them. I know for me, when I talk to my mom, I just... I immediately feel better because she just had my mom or my sister like advice on anything they got me like or just, if you just need to talk or talk about your feelings talk to those who care about you it doesn't even have to be family but people that you know care about how you actually feel go to them because they'll listen to you and then you'll feel way better knowing that you have someone that you know might even relate to you or what you're feeling or just acknowledges that you're feeling that way so I definitely encourage you to talk please do not keep it to yourself don't keep it to yourself because that is something i definitely had a problem doing and i still struggle with this of keeping things to myself because i don't want to burden others but you're not burdening others you're not i'm telling you if they love you they'll be appreciative that they came to, that you came to them the last tip is self-care um and this is a very broad because people have different you know definitions of self-care or what they do for self-care for me i do have a self-care routine and that will be coming soon so just wait on it but just to give y'all a little rundown first of all <laughs> don't, don't let me fool y'all okay i be doing i be doing everything in the name of self-care okay if i'm dieting and suddenly i'm not having a good day and i want some ice cream in the name of self-care i'm having that ice cream and that's just on that okay so self-care is all about you know literally just caring for yourself once every two weeks take a specific day and just self-care like strict self-care no working on stuff that makes you stressed out no thinking about stuff that makes you stressed out push that all to the next day because we're not doing that we're doing self-care period so yeah i have a bunch of things i do for self-care but a couple um i'll list a couple like for me it's taking care of my face because honey we like her to glow okay okay <laughs> like right now my skin is cooperating with me but when as soon as i get stressed out my skin's like oh she's stressed out come on break out break out break out break out literally like my skin is i like to focus on my face and my skin I know a lot of people do that, but I mean, I think it's a really great way to focus on self-care. Read my favorite books, because I love reading, y'all. Read my favorite books, watch my favorite movies, eat my favorite foods. Like, my definition of self-care is just a day to relax. 
just to relax so i'll like get a face mask on make my favorite food pull up my favorite movie just sit back relax and enjoy myself because yeah that's what caring for yourself is not think about all the crap that's going on around you and just live your life you know so yeah but um those are all my tips for de-stressifying my vigorous stress relief routine um i hope you guys you know at least try to apply some of these to your life right now because what's going on it's very hard to see every single day every time you open up social media you see stuff like that like police eating and harming and killing people that look like you and i don't people, i don't think people realize how hard it is literally being black in america is probably the most traumatic experience you can experience as a black person so just seeing this and just seeing people that look like you constantly being harmed and killed murdered by these people who are supposed to protect us it's very it's very heartbreaking and detrimental and traumatic because you know it's like you're kind of always just in a frenzy because it's like dang like anybody i know could be next and you don't you obviously don't want that so it's hard it really is it really is hard to deal with the fact that the country you live in is against everything about you and your culture so it's like actually not your culture because white people love our culture they just don't love us but um yeah so just take the time to just even if you're not black a person of color or even white those who are just affected by this um just kind of stay off social media for a couple hours because it's gonna be very overwhelming so yeah but um i'll see you guys in the next video and uh, stay well stay safe take care of yourself and i love you all